Hello. If you have the latest version of Max installed on your computer, but when you use Max for Live, it's giving you a message saying an update is available, I have a solution for you. So if we look here, I have a Max MIDI effect. I'll click here to edit it and it should launch in here. Of course, it's not showing the error message now, but if we click about Max, there we see. Uh, it has version 8.3.3 and it's saying 8.5.3 is available in this case. Um, however, I know that I have 8.5.3 already installed because I just recently installed it. The solution is here. If we go to Options and then Preferences, and then in the File Folder tab, we can see that for Max application, uh, of course this is a live suite, so this is the one that has Max for Live included, it's using the bundled version. Um, and that means that it's using the version that came along with the live installation. So instead we need to click Browse here and uh, then it'll ask us to find the folder. So I've already got it right here, but the default install location for Max is uh, your hard drive, program files, Cycling74, and then the Max 8 folder. So you go there and click Select Folder. It's going to tell us that yes, it will take effect next time we launch live. So let's go ahead and relaunch live. And you're looking at just the right half of my screen here, so that's why the, the load message is a little messed up. Once that comes up, uh, let's just grab a Max MIDI effect. If I can use my mouse. There we go. It wasn't, it wasn't loaded all the way yet. All right, and then we click here to edit. And now we should find that it opens with the fully updated, installed, and licensed version of Max that I have. Uh, independent of Ableton Live 11 Suite. All those words and it still hasn't opened yet. Here we go. All right, so now if we look under Help and click About Max, there's no message about needing an update and we do see that it has version 8.5.3. So again, just to recap, that setting is under Options, Preferences, the File Folder tab, and then you need to make sure that Use Bundled Version is not uh, selected and that you've browsed to the appropriate folder for your installation of Macs. So this is for the Windows version. The Mac version is similar, um, but it's just you have to find the application. So hopefully that was helpful and not too long. Uh, if, you, if you found it helpful, you can click like if you want to. Um, but, you know, do what you want. Have a great day. That's not a choice. You do have to have a great day. Thanks.